the one who came every year, a, a new one came, you know, the one who came after me, at the, at the sec, I was in the second year, he was in first year, the chef hit him, he passed out, he was lying on the cold because we had no electric or gas, you know, we had cold. So he was lying there, the chef took him on his pan, dragged him through the kitchen, opened the door, threw him out. But just to tell you, next day, we, we started at seven o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> his name, we called it Bubul. Bubul. <laughs> next day at seven o'clock, Bubul was at work. Wow. And I saw next to us, not in the restaurant where I was, in another restaurant, Le Parent d'Or, the chef knocked the, the apprentice out, put him in a garbage and put a lid on. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe they are, maybe you believe me, but I'm sure 50% of people don't believe it. Yeah, and then Dan runs his kitchen just like that. Well, then, <laughs> then started at the school with us and we never hit him, you know. Yeah, that's right. Once in a while we shoot really, maybe, you know. So what do you think you gained from that tough apprenticeship that these guys, these American guys who didn't go through getting put in the garbage can, um, what, what, did, what do you think it uh, gave you? Did it, did it make you a better chef? Is there any aspect of that that no, made it, you a better chef? Putting no, you through it that didn't system? made us best of chefs, maybe in contrary, but uh, it gave us di discipline. Uh -huh. And in our work, we need a lot of discipline. Sometimes it's a little lacking of discipline today. I don't say in America, but uh, all over in Europe too. Discipline lacks a little bit. For the three years I was there, we started 7.30. That was not 7.35. It was 10 minutes before 7.30. That doesn't exist anymore. That gives us that. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't learn as fast as uh, you did now, because in school you, you cook only, it's only. We were also cheap labor at the same time. So it took us much, much longer to to learn. What do you know now about being a chef that a young chef, be it 14 in Alsace or a young chef today, doesn't know about being a chef? Well, first, at 14, nobody goes to work at 14 anymore, you know. They have to go to school at least to 16. But what, what they didn't know, uh, what they said, discipline. They, they didn't know discipline. And uh, even if it was very, very hard, I loved my chef. He was my idol. Even when I came to America, my first trip, I went to see my chef. So we, we, learned, to, we learned to love food, you know. I remember when I was uh, about a year and a year and a half in apprenticeship, the chef once said, okay, Booby. Uh, that you was your name. Yeah, they called me Booby because I was really small, you know. And they said, okay, you make, you make the bolomon, puff pastry, you know. And uh, I made the puff pastry and made the bolomon and we put it in the oven. We didn't have electric oven or things like that. Cool, you know, and it's much more difficult. And I put my bolomon in the oven and about 15 minutes later, the chef opened the door and my volume was rising, you know. I was so proud, you know, and I'm still proud today of that. That gave you <laughs> that the love of cooking. I, I really loved it. It was very tough, but I loved it. Uh, today, maybe, the younger people, the way we teach them and so, they don't have as much love for that. Maybe later on it comes, but when you have it, when you're 14, 15, 16, uh, that stays with you. Hmm. Okay, thank you. You're We're going to get back to you. Thank you. Thank you. We could go on for three hours with Andre. I could listen for three hours. Yeah. We're, oh, well, we're going we're gonna to get back to some questions. Uh, next, I'm going to turn to, um, we're very proud, a graduate of our school, Dan Barber. And... Uh, <laughs> Dan is so incredible. He started Blue Hill with his brother, David, and his wife's lawyer.